Happy New Year, folks. How are you doing? You having a good year so far? I hope so. Did you do anything fun for New Year's? I sure didn't. I literally sat out on my couch, went to sleep early, woke up early. But I feel like that's the right way to start a new year, right? Anyways, I hope you had a good holiday. Uh, I actually got a great present. I don't know if you have a favorite present, but I undoubtedly do. My partner Amanda, she got me a KitchenAid mixer. Uh, I don't know if you folks have heard of a little show called The Great British Bake Off on Netflix, but it's one of my favorite shows. And I've been baking for like six months now every Sunday, and I just bring them into work for my coworkers to eat just because I can't eat half the stuff I make. And it's been literally so fun, uh, and I'm so happy that I actually have a KitchenAid mixer now because I'm like an actual baker. Um, anyways, that's my favorite gift. But this month we're here to talk about apps for success like always, and we're going to be talking about an app called Crystal. Now you may not have heard of Crystal, I hadn't until our friend James, success hacker, actually told me about it. But what Crystal does is it creates personality archetypes and then it tells you those for people that you're emailing or you can build up personality profiles or you can actually even take a look at relationships between users or people in order to more effectively communicate with them, right? So I really like Crystal, it was kind of interesting to try it and to just see exactly what it tells you about the folks that you're talking with. Before we dive into the app though, I do have a horrible joke for you, like always. How does the moon cut its hair? Give up. Eclipse it. <laughs> Happy January. I hope you're staying warm out there, even though it's cold, and we're ready to dive into the app. Here we are at crystalnose.com. C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-K-N-O-W-S.com. And like we said, this app that tells you anyone's personality, right? You can understand if they like longer meetings or make quick decisions. And when you scroll down, you can see they use famous people to sell you on uh, exactly what these profiles look like. And they're actually kind of cool. I like knowing what Bill Gates' disk profile is. When we scroll up, though, we're just going to also mention that there is a Google Chrome extension. Okay, so you will need to install that Google Chrome extension as soon as you sign up. But here we are, we're at crystal.com, right? And we are going to be reviewing the paid version of this, so keep that in mind. There is a free version, but the free version uh, requires that uh, people actually join Crystal in order for you to see their reports. Instead, if you pay, generally speaking, you can see things without people joining. There's four tabs up here at the top. We're gonna check out the profile first. The profile is exactly what it sounds like. It's just your profile. Here's me. Apparently, I'm a motivator. <laughs> it's always good to learn things about yourself, right? Um, I'm likely to thrive in unstructured environments, tend to act on intuition and logical analysis. What I think is kind of cool is this idea of the conversation coach. So if you think about it, uh, let's say I want to email and maybe someone's emailing me and that, well, discussing pricing, that's a good one. We're going to get some advice on what to do. And it literally creates the phrases for you. You see that? The greeting. I like informal greetings, right? I, I like the, the general, just tell me what's in the subject. This is actually pretty darn accurate. I like that. Um, if perhaps you got to deliver some bad news to me, we're going to get advice there. Uh, can you talk? That is definitely going to be like, oh, this is bad news. At least it lets me know. Again, same type of greeting and like to know what you think. All these kind of things. These are very valuable things, right? It helps to just prompt you and to help you in order to communicate easier with the person. Now that's emailing. You may be wondering, you know, what's calling look like? Let's get some advice there. Uh, if you have to call me to give bad news, you'll say, is there anyone else who should know? And that's definitely a good phrase to ask. Uh, and then these are some of my thoughts on it. I always love hearing that. And then there's nice little do's and don'ts along with it as well. And as you can see, you know, there's a ton of different things to do in here. You want to negotiate with me? Let's call and get some advice. I'm excited to work something out. I love hearing that. Uh, here's how a similarly person different did it. You know, social proof, that's really important to me. Uh, let's get this moving again getting started all that kind of stuff is important So I think this is pretty good and pretty accurate and it's good advice for talking to me uh, As you come down here, you can see the things that come naturally for me and what energizes me I certainly do love social energy. I mean we all do because we're in customer success, right? Uh, there's a certain element of socialness that we have to have to our job every day and fun and excitement Who doesn't like fun and excitement? What drains me this is actually pretty accurate as well I don't like feeling stuck. I feel, you know, if I ever feel micromanaged, I certainly hate that. If I use too much caution, I certainly hate that. You maybe remember I actually uh, ride a motorcycle. I also 
have been skydiving and I want to go bungee jumping. I'm not an adrenaline junkie, but I just kind of think these are fun experiences to have in life and I don't want to be too cautious in my life, right? When speaking to me, you know, you want to use colorful descriptions, I certainly respond to that. I even love colorful works of art. That's my favorite thing. Use diagrams, certainly a visual thinker with that. Again, use visual aids as possible. In a meeting, be casual, right? When emailing, it, use emojis. I certainly love emojis. I think this is kind of the hack of the 21st century, helping to communicate emotion through text. I, if you're not using emojis already inside your emails, you certainly should. But to convince me, see how in depth this goes? We're not gonna go through the rest of this, but look at all this stuff. It even gives you a personality map of where I look and where I work on archetypes. And if you wanna take a look at my disc archetype, like influential, that's, that's something that we've seen in the past, right? So if we scroll up here, again, the profile is pretty darn cool. If you go to the people section, it's just a list of the people you've viewed for so far, so you can go back and take a look at that. And remember, you can always invite other people to take the personality profile for free. So you might consider doing it if you manage a team, having everybody take the profile, and then you can take a look. And it's a good way to then build up reports because you'll notice here this report section, you can take a look at your own basic one, which you already took a look at for me. You can get that full report, right? We'll just have to do build the report and it obviously costs a little bit more. But what might be useful to you, especially as a manager, is to create relationship reports and group reports and group fit reports, all these things you can ask people to join and then generate a report in order to see it, right? And if you ever want to see, again, improving communication, go ahead and check there. So the app itself is pretty cool. Again, the final tab is just pricing and how much it costs, again, at $29 per month. And there is that free version and each report costs 20 bucks and the database is only for friends and coworkers. But what we'll move on to, however, is what I see the real use case for this is, and that's through email. So if you click this compose option, what you'll notice here in the bottom right is there's, that's Crystal right down there. Okay, so that's Crystal inside the email. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and give you an example here. We're gonna pick James at successhacker.com. And we're gonna click outside the box. Down here below it says get insights. We're gonna click that get insights option and it says, okay, predict personality. Pick the word that best describes James. Uh, I think James is actually kind of casual, right? Uh, I think he's very structured. He's certainly big picture oriented and he's been very accommodating with me. I don't know if he's going to agree with all these things. <laughs> uh, but add a name so you can reuse this personality prediction each time you email them. So this is going to be James and then Scott. And then hit next. And what it'll do is it'll come up and it'll predict a disk, right? So it can generate that from your interactions or what you see or say about the person. What you notice is it says, you know, I need to email James. I can make a sales pitch and get advice, right? And it comes up and it gives you advice directly right there, which is pretty darn cool. But there's another cool thing that you can do, right? Not only can you use this to get that insight, it's going to give you subject line, greeting, call to action example if we want to sell to James or maybe we want to negotiate with him. Uh, we can loop in others if we need to, you know, all that kind of stuff. Write this, it tells you, I, I love that. Like it really takes a lot of the guesswork out and it helps to make it persuasive to that person based upon their personality type. Now, this is an instance in which, uh, you know, this is a predicted profile. It's not necessarily verified. Um, if you want to, they have a cool little LinkedIn option here, right? So we're on LinkedIn now. Let's do the same thing. We're going to go to James Scott. There we are. James is one of our favorite friends here at Success Hacker. Great, so we've got James pull up. Once we have James pull up, take a look. It looks like he's getting his personality predicted. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, so he doesn't know that I'm doing this, which is kind of funny. <laughs> You're the best, James. Anyway, so what you'll see here is that it says, keep it friendly and bring the energy. That is certainly true with my interactions with James. Um, I'm sure you guys can relate with your interaction with James too. The guy's awesome. But on the right, again, it's just nice little tips. You can go through LinkedIn, and this now is a report based upon LinkedIn, right? It says this is his personality. This is the overview of what he wants to do. Um, again, communication, motivation, work, all that kind of stuff. That's all here, and it's extremely useful, right? So this is for a call. Let's see, when I email James, let's make sure I'm doing this stuff right. High-level stuff, great. I'm doing that regularly, great. Call to action, awesome. Maybe not a sales fix, pitch, maybe I gotta persuade him to do something. You can go in here, want to get started. I think this is so valuable, folks. 
Um, and it is a great way to put LinkedIn to work, uh, as well as to make sure that you can lower those initial barriers to communication or building a rapport, a relationship with a customer, um, or perhaps, you know, somebody who was at your own team, right? You can put in their uh, disk profile and maybe understand a little bit better how you can interact with them. So that is Crystal from Crystal Knows. Uh, like I said, I love the emailing option because it's so quick and easy. You know, the other thing, oops, I forgot to show you. Uh, if you keep it closed like that, it just says be warm. You know, it just gives you a nice little, ah, I remember to do that in this email, right? It's a quick, easy way to, to make sure that your email is a little bit, it's landing a little bit more softly on the person or, uh, again, just easing that communication barrier. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Uh, please leave your thoughts inside of the uh, chat box at the bottom. I'll be watching this post as it gets posted and responding back to everything you have to say. Uh, and I'll even love to hear about any, you know, different uh, great Christmas presents you got because I told you about mine. So I hope you're having a good day. Hope you like Crystal and we'll talk soon.